Woman was impaled by pole of a beach umbrella, authorities said. A woman was killed on a Wednesday in Garden City, South Carolina, after a loose beach umbrella impaled her in the chest, according to authorities. Woman was impaled by pole of a beach each by umbrella caught up in gust of wind. Woman was impaled by pole of a beach umbrella, authorities said. A woman was killed on a Wednesday in Garden City, South Carolina, after a loose beach umbrella impaled her in the chest, according to authorities. The umbrella was blown by the wind from its anchoring in the sand at around 12.40 p.m., hitting Tammy Perot, 63, in the chest, Horry County Chief Deputy Coroner Tamara Willard told news outlet. Peralt was taken to the Thailand's Wakamaw Community Hospital, where she succumbed to her injuries, local news station WMBF reported. Scotty's Beach Bar and Surfside Beach posted on social media about Perot and the loss, according to Fox 8. Today, with heavy hearts, we mourn the loss of a dear friend and kind, hearted local Tammy Perot, according to the Post. Some things we will never begin to understand, but what we do know is no one has a bad thing to say about this woman. To be as sweet as her day in and day out should be a goal for all. About 3,000 people are injured by beach umbrellas every year, according to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. A beach umbrella's wide canopy allows it to get caught up in a strong wind if it is not anchored properly. While the spiked end poses a danger, they further note it. Back in 2016, Lottie Michelle Belk of Chester, Virginia, was killed by a flying beach umbrella on Virginia Beach in a similar manner. In that case, the beach umbrella anchored in the sand was picked up by a strong gust of wind, blowing it into Belk's body. Police said the umbrella stabbed Belk, 55, in the chest, and her cause of death was penetrating blunt force trauma, according to local station WTKR. Senators Tim Kaine and Mark Warner, Democrats in Virginia, asked the Consumer Product Safety Commission to review beach umbrellas and start a safety campaign in 2016 after Belk's death. In 2019, the senators wrote to the agency again, reported the Virginian pilot, suggesting they consider an effort similar to July 4th safety campaigns or the successful Safe Sleep campaign, which educated parents about making baby nurseries safer. The commission recently reported on its website that Andrew Newens, Directorate for Engineering Sciences, was scheduled to participate in a teleconference with a Beach Umbrellas Task Group on July 27, 2022. This conference call was requested by ASTM American Society for testing and materials to discuss the creation of a new standard test method for the strength and durability of consumer beach umbrellas, the website noted. The commission offers the following five tips for beach umbrella safety on its website. One, to bike your beach pole umbrella into the sand. Two, Firmly rock it back and forth until it's buried at least two feet deep. Three, tilt it into the wind to keep it from blowing away and hurting someone. Four, anchor the base of the pole with some form of anchor or weight. Five, ensure that the sand is well packed around the base.